You are watching Bengals Breakdown by Chat Sports, and I am your host, Stone Shields. Thank you so much for joining us as we get ready for the Bengals to take on the reigning, defending Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs. This matchup is always super, super exciting. It seems to be budding into one of the next great NFL riv rivalries, especially between quarterbacks Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. So on today's show, we're going to go through some keys to victory for the Bengals on Sunday when they head to Arrowhead Stadium and play in that 425 slate uh, window um, against the Kansas City Chiefs. As of filming, this is the line right now. Chiefs favored by five points. By the time this video comes out, that might change a little bit. Total looking at 47 and a half right now. So again, we are going to be going through some keys to victory, five keys to victory, according to me, uh, for the Bengals going into their Week 2 matchup in Kansas City. But before we do that, get in the comments section and spam those who days for us right now. The most comments on this video will get a shout out in a future video. We are trying to make this video the most commented on video of the month of September so far. So we need well over 100 comments in order to hit that mark. So get excited, spam who day in the comments section for us right now. All right, key to victory number one, got to contain Isaiah Pacheco. Pacheco, of course, is an outstanding running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, really was a steal for Brett Veach and Kansas City, getting him in the seventh round a couple of years ago. Man, does he run so hard. He is such a physical back, really tough to take down. Is incredible after contact as well. When you think about what the Bengals did last week trying to tackle Ramondre Stevenson, didn't do a great job of that at all, and it's only going to get more difficult going up against Pacheco this week for Cincinnati. Pacheco had a really nice week one on Thursday night football against the Baltimore Ravens. They really were feeding him the rock, 15 carries, and I think if you're a Bengals fan, that is what concerns you the most going into this game. It's really not Mahomes, believe it or not, because Lou Anarumo has done a good job of kind of making Mahomes look relatively human in this game um, in recent years, but I think... From a, a physicality standpoint, no doubt the Bengals have to be better in the trenches on the defensive line, and they got to contain this guy right here. Because if they just if their run defense looks like it did last week against uh, New England, might be a long week one for the since or week two for the Cincinnati Bengals. So, what is your confidence level in the Bengals defensive line? Scale up for us one to ten in the comments section. We've talked at length about this position group. Um, certainly was the biggest concern for me coming into this 2024 season. And that proved to be true during week one. So scale for me in the comments, one to 10 is the pin comment on today's show. So if that ad comes here on YouTube, it's totally fine. Take advantage of it. Get down in the comments section and let us know what you think. Key to victory number two, got to push the football down the field. If you're Zach Taylor, Joe Burrow, and this Bengals offense, look, uh, last week, they pretty much were just throwing like three, four-yard routes, and that is not a recipe for success if you're going up against a team like Kansas City. It's really not a re recipe for success in any type of game. Um, you're not just going to have these super long drives where you're picking up four or five yards of play. Got to find a way to get some explosives, explosives involved into the game. Uh, Joe Burrow, I thought he was okay week one, but he certainly wasn't special. I think he's got to do a better job of being a little bit more aggressive, taking some chances, I know that's what's made him so good is, you know, not turning the football over, just taking what the defense gives him. But he's got to find a way to push the ball down the field. And I think he's going to look a lot better um, come week two because, you know, for whatever reason, he gets out to those slow starts. I don't know if his eyes are working as quickly at the beginning of the season. I don't know if he's seeing things as right. He seems to be rushing. He alluded to in his press conference getting a little, uh, getting some happy feet in the pocket as well. So I think the Bengals really got to emphasize getting the ball down the football field. That is key to victory number two. Key to victory number three kind of ties into that to some extent. Got to get Jamar Chase involved early in the game. He didn't touch the ball until the 11-minute mark of the second quarter week one against the Patriots. I am a big believer and you got to get your best players the ball early in the football game. I don't care if it's just a touch, you know, a wide receiver screen, perhaps even a reverse. Got to uh, get them into the flow of the game early on. And Zach Taylor did not do a good job of that with Jamar Chase week one. I think his first catch actually didn't go for any yards, so I think that was a situation where they were like, hey, let's just get the ball to Chase, but that's got to be done earlier in the game. Got to get him into the flow of things early on. 
And I think that will, um, you know, bode for success for the Bengals as the game progresses because um, they need this guy in this game. No doubt about that. Certainly one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League. He's got to be really good if the Bengals are going to go into Kansas City and upset the Chiefs. We'll continue with our keys to victory here in a moment. But first, I want to give a shout out to our friends over at Game Time because today's show is presented by Game Time. Game Time has a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. Bengals versus Chiefs is the Game Time game of the week, and you can get tickets for this game on Game Time. They have the best deals possible. Listen, a couple of years ago when the Bengals went into Arrowhead Stadium and won in the AFC Championship game, I was there. How did I get my tickets? Game Time. Everything about it is just so straightforward simple and easy but make sure you guys get your tickets soon if you plan on making the trip out to kansas city you can get tickets for as low as 424 dollars if you buy two tickets together together i really love the panoramic view from your seat that you get in the app before you buy so take the guesswork out of buying tickets with game time download the game time app create an account and use code chat sports for 20 dollars off your first purchase terms apply again Create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off. Download game time today. What time is it? It's game time. Uh, moving on here, key to victory number four, win the turnover battle. I know this is kind of vanilla. It's kind of vague. You could essentially say this every single game. But based on what happened last week, I think it's very important to list this as a key to victory for Cincinnati. When you look at the two fumbles, that they had, one being on special teams with the Charlie Jones punt, and of course the one being the Tanner Hudson fumble right before he essentially looked like he was about to score. Bengals certainly were going to get points on that drive. Instead, he tries to extend the football a little bit early, gets knocked out, completely switches the momentum of the game. Felt like the Bengals were finally going to get some momentum back, and uh, that proved to be very costly. So if you're going on the road in a hostile environment in a professional football game, this is the key you can always list. And um, I'm certainly listing it here in Kansas City. Not to say they can't win the game if, you know, they lose the turnover battle by one. But if they're losing it by more than one, I think they're going to be in a tough spot Sunday. So hopefully the defense can make some plays, create some takeaways, something that didn't happen against New England. Hopefully the offense and special teams can hold on to the football as well. Another opportunity for you guys to get involved with our show today here on Bengals Breakdown. Will the Bengals win the turnover battle against the Chiefs? Type Y for yes or N for no. Sound off for us in the comments of today's show. Last one, key to victory number five. Got to set the tone from a physicality standpoint if you're Zach Taylor in the Cincinnati Bengals. I want this group to come out ticked off. You just blew your first game week one as a, you know, a steep favorite at home against the New England Patriots. Now you're playing a team that outside of the AFC North is your biggest rival. You've played this team in big time games, playoffs, AFC championships late in the year. This year a little different, getting them in week two. But I want to see them come out there uh, you know, with their hair on fire, just ready to hit somebody and really go play physical football if you're Zach Taylor and the Cincinnati Bengals. And also – Kind of a revenge aspect from two times ago in the AFC Championship when the Bengals lost, of course, last second field goal by Harrison Butker um, when Joseph Osai hit Patrick Mahomes late out of bounds. I know that was a couple of years ago, but it felt like last year they didn't really have an opportunity to go out there and get that revenge. It just felt a little bit different with Jake Browning being the quarterback last year. But we finally get to see Burrow back at Arrowhead Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. Anytime these two teams square off, it's going to be a very physical and just a big-time football game for uh, Cincinnati. So really excited about this game and want to see the Bengals come out strong, ready to hit somebody and be aggressive early on. Of course, they're not going to take back what they lost in the AFC Championship game. Totally different being a regular season game, but I think they could still come out with an edge to them, play uh, you know really physical style football, and just be absolutely ready to go, especially after disappointment in week one. Make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel here at Bengals Breakdown. We will have our second watch party coming up 325 Eastern time on Sunday, an hour before kick. Really looking forward to that. Had a great time week one, despite, of course, the Bengals 
falling short against New England, hoping for a different result come Sunday. So join us. Uh, really looking forward to that. Hit that sub button. That's YouTube.com slash Bengals TV.